Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in this theatre. We're going to try and figure out this little ghost puzzle we've got here so that we can go and talk to Sophia, I guess, about Atlantis, given that that's what she's talking about and it's the title of the game. Um, and yeah, I just want to take a moment first as well just to say thank you for all the support and all the comments and everything on the first episode because it seems like you guys are really excited for this series as well, which is brilliant. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed the last one, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next and really getting stuck into this. Um, and also, sorry about this screen resolution a little bit on the first episode as well. I realised that um, OBS cut off a little bit at the top of the screen because it doesn't like these old point and click adventure game windows. Hopefully that will now be fixed. Um, yeah, it, it's just something that happens with some of these old games, so apologies for that, but we're good to go now. So here we go. Um, it's going to be something to do with these levers, right? Um, does it all right? There's no options or explanations, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, it's a lever. Thank you for that, Indy. That's really good of you to sort of be really obvious. Well, that doesn't seem to work, right? That doesn't seem to work. Okay, what about this one? Well, that doesn't seem to work. That oh, maybe we have to do pull rather than use. Let's see, it won't go any further in that direction, right? So it's not going to be that then. How about this one? Uh, I don't know what the... It won't go any further in that direction. Right, so if we've got to push it then? Right, let's try pushing it. What does the middle one do? Apparently nothing, okay. Uh, okay. Can we push that one? Okay, so we've got some sort of lights here now. And it's making some sort of a noise. Can we... It won't go any further in that direction. Perhaps pull the other ones? Ah, it's gone green. Yellow. Okay, is there anything else we can do here? Or can we literally just go and talk Hold to him? Hold on! Oh no, he's back. I still got my eye on you. Right, so we can't walk there. Um, okay, so can we actually just use this thing now? No, weird. It, okay, so... Is there something else around here for Ghost? I don't know, can we talk to her from here? Hold on! I still got my eye on you. No, you won't. Let's do it. Right, okay. Maybe we've got a... So it's green. It won't go any further in that direction. Do we need to make it a different colour from green? Yellow. Okay. Okay, do we perhaps need to make it so it goes green when they're all pushed out or something? Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure if this is actually a puzzle or whether we're just doing something really stupid here. I wish I knew what the keyboard key for pull was as well, um, because at the moment I'm having to click and it's a bit... No, okay, weird. So it goes yellow if we do that, and I don't think I'm missing anything else around here so when we pull this one down it goes green and it starts making a noise it's flashing you can see there so what do the other levers do it won't go any further in that direction how are we stuck already <laughs> Okay, what happens if we pull them all back? Huh, how can we already be stuck? Maybe there's a certain way you've got to turn them on. Right, that gives us the yellow. That makes it red. So maybe we... Maybe we need to push this one.
Right, okay, so it's flashing again, but it's still not going anywhere. No, okay. So that just makes literally no sense to me at all. I just don't get it. <laughs> can we look at this? It's a lever. Is there anything else we can do with it? We can't talk to her. We've got Why this do I keep looking at her? We've got this book. There's the exit. I mean, it's literally got to be something to do with this, right? But I don't understand... how we can get it to move. So that's red. That's yellow, and then if we pull this one, it goes green, right? But there's there's nothing else we can push. There's like no button to make it go or anything. Hold on! I still got my eye on you. Yeah, I know, I know you have, but what the hell are we supposed to be doing around here? Um, I don't know, is there something we've missed? It's got to be something we've missed, right? Because we put green on. But I don't see... anything. You'd think there'd be like a go thing or something. Ah, what's the... Hang on, there's a button. Right. <laughs> God. <laughs> so we weren't stuck at all, we just weren't looking at that flipping button which is there. Okay. Can we use that or do we have to push it? There we go. There we go. And Jeez, that button was really hard to see. Uh, may I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of, of deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Cindy. Indiana Jones. <laughs> you've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack o' lantern. Oh, great. Wow, okay. Good night, um, folks. That went wrong. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. Seems a common reaction with ladies in Indiana. Time. Guess there's a serious conversation that needs to be had here. Oh, no! Uh -oh. Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. I like the music. It's pretty cool. Nor here either. Bet he's hiding behind the boxes, right? Yeah, I knew it. There he is. Dun dun dun. Doctor ah. Uberman. Fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. Damn this guy. And off he goes. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? No. Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief Scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. Mm. So? Practical results are years away. Come on, a few atoms won't even light a match. They'll never find enough uranium. Sounds like they're dreaming to me. Uh, I mean... I doubt they'll find enough uranium, surely. They'll never find enough uranium. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Oh. Be serious. Interesting. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Okay, yet you've been concealing important artifacts, yet you stole things from my expedition, yet you've been dealing goods on the black market, yet you no never published a word about your finds. Let's do about this yet one. Yet you never published a word about your finds. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. 
You're lucky I don't have you arrested. That was a quick change. <laughs> so what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What? <laughs> what do you know? Is that like the one that was in the statue? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. Ah, what's that? The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Interesting. That is what now was in the I'll statue, place it isn't in it? The Danian's mouth. Ooh, it's a power source. Huh. Whoa. What's going on? What was that? Did you see that? Is that some sort yeah, of ghost? Yeah, creepy. Was it the ghost that Is was on the string? Bill paid up? <laughs> that was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Yeah, I thought so. Close in Atlantis, that's for sure. I'm not interested in spiritual mumbo jumbo. Don't try your psychic act on me. Nur, uh, what? Closer than Atlantis. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Uh, we have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Atlantis has been underwater for centuries. Who knows where these beads really came from? You may have just used the last bead. Uh, it's been underwater for centuries, right? Atlantis has been underwater for centuries. Shh. I'm getting something. Uh, what? Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? Oh, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. Hmm, that book is a legendary hoax. If Plato write it, wrote it, later authors would have reported it. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. It's not in any library I've ever been to. It's not in any library I've ever been in. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? Well, it's possible, You I guess. ever think of that? Maybe. Hmm. I mean, I hope not, but... You found this stuff in Iceland, right? What were these pieces doing in Iceland? How did the Nazis get interested in Iceland? Why Iceland? Why not Florida where it's warm? Um, let's do this one. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Looks like we might have to go to Iceland. Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Bjorn, Maybe we eh? should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Well, looks like we're off to Iceland then. Here we are. Look, here we go. New York to Iceland. Here we go. Another new location. We're getting around. We're jet setting. Ooh, this is cool. So there's the truck. I guess we can use the truck to go places. Um, walk to the truck. Walk to encampment. Walk to old dig sites. There's various places we can go. I just want to see if we can use the truck. Because on Last Crusade, we could switch locations almost at will. Let's head for the airport. Oh, uh, yeah, we can. Look. Ah. So we can come here. I mean, I'm not sure why we'd want to do that, but... What are we doing here? Uh, what a campus. And you could have been teaching here. I was going to ask you the same thing. What do we do now? Let's look around. Let's look around. You go. I'll wait. Okay, so there's the office. Uh, we can walk to this bulletin board. Let's see what the bulletin board's about. We've already been in this building near the start. I don't know if... I mean, maybe there are things you can come back and do, I don't know. Uh, can we look at this? It says, for sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. Uh, no, you're alright. Right, there's all these stairs. Uh, can we go down the stairs? Right, we can, okay. Uh, I'm not... Ooh, a dirty rag. What's that? It's a greasy old towel. Can we pick that up? Yeah, we can. It's 
a greasy old towel. It's my favorite piece of equipment. Right, okay, so it was worth coming back here then. Uh, let's look at this. It's hot. Can we use this on the furnace? Well, that doesn't seem to work. No, okay. Can we go back up the coal chute? It's too slippery to walk up. No, but can we pick up some of this coal? Yeah, we can. Uh, let's have a look at that, just in case. A fine sample of bitumen. Right, okay. So, I mean, we've got two items by coming back here that we wouldn't have had otherwise. I don't know if they're actually going to come in useful. So maybe it is worth going back to the other locations as well on this game, then. Um, just to make sure there's not any new items that we didn't have before. So maybe we should check out Indy's office as well while we're here. And just like really exhaust the areas just so we don't miss anything important. Uh, there's some shelves. There's an ice box. A trunk up there. You see, there's loads of stuff in here that we didn't get to check out before. Because of the... Um, the game moving us on, so maybe we did need to come back. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Right, it's just some broken pots. So nothing really important. There's the window, of course. Um, what's these shelves about? Let's have a look at this. Here's a thuggy idol. Okay, can we take that maybe? Uh, pick up. I don't need anything here. No. This ice box looks interesting though. I wonder if we've got to open this up. Seems like an odd thing to have. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. And um, what's in there? A jar. Hmm. Okay, let's pick up the jar. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Ugh. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. That's nasty. Um maybe we should close that. Uh, is it C? Yeah, C. Okay, it won't let me close it for some reason. Oh no, there we go. Right, can we go up here to this trunk? Yeah, we can. Nice. Okay. So yeah, I think we're really going to have to um, do a bit of going back to places in this game, which is nice, actually. Anything good in the trunk? Let's have a look in there. Nothing useful in here. No, nothing useful. Okay. Um, so that's about all that we can do in here then isn't it so we got three items by coming back here that we would have missed otherwise unless we're going to need them for puzzles later and the idea is to come back to find the items of course but who knows um, let's use this automobile and we'll head off back to Iceland shall we because it doesn't look like we can go back to the um, theatre Right, so what do we check out first? That's the question. There's nothing here, really. Um, can we talk? Excuse me. Oh, we can. Yes. Ah, remember this place? Remember this place? The Jastro Expedition. How could I forget? Uh, cold enough for you? What do we do now? Let's look around. Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. <laughs> Uh, what do we do now? What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. Good idea. So interesting. So this is more like slightly later point-and-click adventure games where you could talk to people who were with you and um, other characters on the, the screen to get ideas. That's quite, that's quite cool, actually. Right, let's check out this encampment then while we're here before we go into the actual dig site. Can we go in or...? Can we only just look at it? It looks like someone's still living here. Okay, can we actually go in or? I don't think that'll work. Can we open it? It doesn't seem to open. No, okay. So it looks like we've just got to go into the old dig site then. Wonder what's going to be in here. I wonder if it's like a tomb or something. I mean, it'd be typical Indiana Jones if it was a tomb, wouldn't it? Ah, is this Heimdall? I bet it is. Obscure object in the ice. What is that? Right, let's talk to Heimdall anyway. Uh, long time no see, I guess. Hello. 
Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame <laughs> Sophia Hapgood. What's this with his voice? This is my big sight now. Go away. Uh, I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? Doctor, what do you expect to find here? I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Oh, sarcasm. Hmm. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Fair enough. Uh, what do you expect to find here, apart from Doctor, that obvious what do you thing? expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. Hmm, I did not know that. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! <laughs> After travelling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Hmm. Interesting. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? No. Uh, maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. He was stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. A force field? Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Uh, have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Okay. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. Right. And Philippe Costa in the Aethos Islands. As a researcher, he's a first, but he's a sharp tracer. Okay. So if we got some new um, locations again to travel to, that'd be pretty cool. Why did these beings show up here? Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a space part. Hmm. Okay. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. Uh, okay, so what's the link between Hyperborea, uh, Hyperborea, oh, he says it weird, and Atlantis. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Oh, what? Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Yeah, I wonder who that was. Go ahead, blame it all on me. Uh, okay, so you got a com so you completely discount the supernatural. So you completely discount the supernatural. Completely, if it's supernatural, you went. Doctor Sternhardt and Costa. Okay, uh, what is this thing you're working on here? What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here. Oh, it's a probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, so long then. So long. <coughs> so this guy is convinced that it's to do with aliens, and it'll be interesting to see if it is. Uh, but that just about does it for time today, so we'll call it an episode there, and we'll carry on and maybe visit what I'm guessing is some new locations in the next one and talk to these other people looking for this book. But yeah, I'm really gripped on the story so far. I think it's really, really cool. And I love the little dynamic that these two have got going on as well. I think it's hilarious. Um, there's the comedy aspect as well, which has started coming in from some of the dialogue lines. It is really good fun. And I can't wait to play more. But that does it for this one, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.